So I have an automatic level of respect for men who do one thing. And that one thing is when they cold approach women, when they walk up to women they don't know with the intention of having sex or intimacy with them. Now, if you don't cold approach, that doesn't mean I don't respect you, but I don't get that automatic level of respect. I would have to learn about you, and I'm sure I'll respect your intelligence, your character, and all that stuff. But for a man who cold approaches, for a man who, like me, has put his being on display for women to accept or deny, I respect him. And I'll tell you why, because it's hard to walk up to a woman as a man that you don't know and try to make something out of nothing is very difficult. And I'm not going to even quantify it by saying, well, if you approach in this way during the day, it's better than if you're at night with your boys and drunk. I'm not going to even quantify doing it in any way is very difficult. It's so difficult that men have had to develop self-defense, self-protection mechanisms to not feel the pain that their whole essence is being rejected. So it's very common to see guys at night. I saw this especially in Washington, D.C., when a man would get rejected in a harsh way. I mean, some of the girls in D.C. can be very hard. And then he'll say something like, you are a slut anyway. You're a bitch anyway. So this is really a self-protection thing. And then another self-protection mechanism that guys do is it's her loss. You know, she doesn't know the real me, so it's her loss. So, but whatever self-protection mechanism you take, it's still not, it's not easy. And as proof of that, as proof of how hard it is, find a man who has never cold approached a woman and tell him he has to go and do it. What you're going to find live is a flight or a fight or flight response on that man's face. He may even develop a mini panic attack if you force him. His face will turn red. His heart rate will go up. That is proof how hard it is. If you've never done it, it is really one of the hardest social behaviors that you can do right now. And it is something that, so when I meet a man who does it, I respect him. You know, And I'm not saying I like him in the sense that we're going to be best friends forever. I don't care where he's from. I don't care how he looks. But the fact that he's doing it, the fact that he has faced his demons, faced his insecurities to actually go up to a girl, you know, especially when he is, say, you know, not the ideal stud with six pack abs and he's not over six feet tall and he's not the most handsome man on the block and he's doing it, man, that is, I respect him. And that's probably why so many guys I meet through my blog, uh, through my websites, we have an instant, instant connection because you just connect with men who have gone through the same hardships that you have gone through. It's worth exploring the idea of what happens when a girl rejects you at the time. Because we have to think, when we present ourselves to a woman, what are we presenting to her? Are we presenting our true self or the self that we think she will like? The self that we know based on the nature of women, the qualities that they will like. And on top of that, we have to ask, how long does it take to know you for you for someone to know who you really are. I mean, if you ask some people, who are you? They can't even answer you themselves. You know, does your mother know you? Does your father? Does your girlfriend of one year, does she know you? So whenever we talk about this idea of rejection, it's really a meaningless concept because you, no one knows someone completely. You know, you are not merely your job, merely your jokes, merely your outward appearance, because for everything external, there has to be something internal too, something that you can't really measure, you can't really see. So we have to know that, you know, and you're also not the girls that you, you get. Look at guys who've been with lots of women. You'd think that they'd be completely satisfied. You'd think that they'd be completely happy. But these can be some of the most unhappy men because a girl is just a drug that they are 
using to feel better for a moment, not for inner inner fulfillment that lasts. So we have to, it's worth exploring this idea of self and who are you? Who are you and what part of you does the person see, a girl see? You know, whatever the answer is, it is what, what a girl sees, especially when you approach a girl and the conversation is less than one hour. It's a very narrow part of you. And it's a part of you that you consciously wanted to show because you think it will get her. So it's kind of like an actor. You are an actor to a point because you're only going to show those good parts. And she does it, too. A first date is, I think, anyone's first date should be part of a Hollywood movie on how much acting is taking place there. So it's worth just to understand that. But whatever you, whatever conclusion you come to, the fact is that approaching a girl with, with, that, with whatever self-defense uh, mechanism, protection mechanism you have, whatever understanding of who you are it is, it's still hard. And it's still hard. And it, while it gets easy from the standpoint of you're not as anxious, still going from nothing, going from zero prospects, no social circle, and having to walk out that door and make something happen socially is very hard. So this this is why I respect men who do it. You know, you have my automatic respect if you do it because it's like basically – Two warriors in the field with blood on their face and their sword dull from using it, recognizing each other. And that's in the modern sense what a soldier is now. And one more thing I wanted to say is how cold approach is really for men a keystone habit, which means that a lot of other good habits coincide with it when you're doing it. The other keystone habit is lifting weights. If you both of them also encourage your testosterone to shoot through the roof. And if we think about what the gym does, when you're going to the gym and lifting weights, you also eat right. Maybe you get up early. Maybe you schedule your time better. It's a keystone habit that helps in other areas of your life. When you cold approach girls, you make sure you look good. You make sure that you're in a social mood. You make sure that you're not... Um, excessively doing things like video games and you're not wasting time. So both of these, if you're doing both, and on top of that, if you're doing both, your testosterone shoots up. If I'm in a relationship, my testosterone goes goes down, you know, over time. And this studies have shown men and families, their testosterone, it goes down. And when I have to cold approach, it spikes. And if I'm cold approaching and going to the gym, I mean, wow, I... I I am having to, I don't want to say jerk off, but I have to manage that because it's really, it's really spiking. If you want your testosterone to go up, lift heavy weights and hunt. This is, nature gave us testosterone as a tool. It gave us this testosterone to hunt either for food or for women. So if you, if you're facing low testosterone, testosterone. I'm sure injections help, but naturally, if you want to get it up, you don't even have to change your diet. Really just lift weights and cold approach girls try to get laid and feel that lack like, oh, I need to meet girls and it will definitely go up. So that's a benefit. Another sign it's so hard is that there are men who make a living teaching this. You know, you know it's hard with if there's men like me and I'm not the only one who make a living just teaching how to meet girls, how to walk up to them. So I wanted to make this video as a celebration of men who put themselves up for rejection by going up to girls that they like. You know, it really is a hard thing and you have my respect doing it and you should feel a little bit proud doing it. I mean, I'm not saying jump up for joy every time that you approach a girl, but you should feel a little bit proud because most guys don't do it. It is ask a guy who's never done it, point out a girl and tell him to go and do it and you'll see what he's what his what his response is will tell you everything. And even my uh, pug Arnold, he has never cold approached. And I am going to ask him to go do it. And he's going to do it. I think it's going to be easy for him. So that's all I have to say today. I hope you enjoy this video. Until next time.